to Yorkshire here on Stansea. We're part of the experimentation trials group. We've developed an exercise where we're taking new to service equipment and we're learning how to fight with that before we push this kit out to the rest of the army. We're trying to stay on the like, front foot of what technology is offering us. We're seeing what they're using in Ukraine and how they use it. But then we're looking at what we've got available to us as British Army and then how we can better implement that and figure out where different assets should lie within our structure. So the overall objective for us to modernise be on the front foot is that we can remain more deadly than our enemies. The drone can help us massively because it can give the leading commander on the ground a much greater situational awareness. He himself doesn't have to be situated with that drone team, he can be pushed far forward and focus on the battle but still have that feed of information coming to him from a dedicated UAS team. We've got obviously normal cameras as well as thermal which is giving us a greater ability to see through uh, soft cover, things like um, tree canopies. Uh, vegetation, etc. Also uh, identify entry points for buildings, windows, stuff like, stuff like that. One of the drones we've been using is larger uh, and it's got a longer range on it, so we're just using that to find depth enemy positions or routes in, etc. ready for attacks. And that takes quite a dedicated operator with a commander feeding information forward to myself and other commanders on the ground. The other drone we've been using is slightly smaller, able to be deployed quickly by a section and they can throw that up. It gives that section commander their own situational awareness plus allows them to have other effects on the ground as well. So obviously you can send drone somewhere where you can, then light a section of men like around the back of a building, around the back of a wood block, so you can see you know, entry points to a building, to a compound, things like that. So fighting the night's always been hard, you've got very limited situational awareness. You struggle to see you guys, struggle to see where you're going, where the enemy are. With the technology we've got at the moment, with the drones, they're providing much greater oversight. Uh, we can have night vision on them, we can have thermals which can track our own positions plus enemy positions. We're also using new night vision sights. A thousand times better than what we've used previously. Real game changer. Thermal is how wars are fought now. Being able to see through places that you wouldn't be able to see through normally, being able to ping potential enemy positions or enemy from caves away that you wouldn't be able to see with your naked eye or even through an LDS. Having that capability puts us in front of the enemy. If we can see the enemy before they can see us, then we can manoeuvre or even engage before they even know we're there. You move your axe when we, when we come across you. Yeah. Hey, it's given us much greater situational awareness. It's tracking your positions, tracking all your subunits positions as well. It gives you like a solid data feed between uh, your commanders. If one lead section identifies enemy positions, they can uh, identify it, pin it on the DSA and everyone else then knows where, what that enemy position is. How many enemy, what they're doing, that information push is just really effective.